Greetings, Aqua fam. It's Ben Aqua. I'm shooting right now on two cameras. I got my iPhone 10 in one hand, and I have the DJI Osmo Pocket in the other. So this video is gonna be like a comparison side by side. I promise the background will be much more enchanting in a little bit, because we're going to New Mexico, and we're gonna be staying out in the mountains with family. It's gonna be delicious. So what I wanna test is like dynamic range. It seems like the Osmo Pocket loves to blow out skies and stuff and I'm gonna just walk for a second here so you can see a little bit of the stabilization action. My theory is that the pocket is actually pretty similar quality to a smartphone. Let's see a backlit. How about a backlit scenario? What do y'all think about the stabilization? Everyone's staring at me right now. Lubbock, Texas. I feel like in places like Lubbock I just step outside and immediately there's 18 people staring at me but you know I'm kind of used to that. It's hard being this beautiful. But even more beautiful is the natural scene of New Mexico. It's just one state park and national monument after another. It's just gorgeous. And as you can see in these shots, the Osmo Pocket has a wider focal length than the iPhone 10, but the iPhone 10 definitely looks a little bit more saturated in the colors. So we're staying in this house. Now that it's daylight, we can see it. It's like mostly built, but the interior still needs a little work. Oof, oof, shaky footage. It's a little cold, but we had a little fire going here. Oh, nice and toasty by the fire. Besides the visuals, I was also testing the audio quality between the iPhone 10 and Osmo Pocket. The Pocket has the advantage of having an internal stereo mic, which the iPhone 10 doesn't have. But I don't know if there's something about the noise reduction algorithm in the Pocket, but it just sounds weird and kind of tinny. And overall, I think I actually prefer the audio in the iPhone 10, even though it is mono. If you're wearing headphones right now, you'll be able to hear the difference. Sun's out. This is a lot earlier than I'm used to waking up. But it is a brisk morning here in New Mexico. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think of the Osmo Pocket versus iPhone 10 so far? One of the definite advantages that the Osmo Pocket has over the iPhone 10 is right now I'm filming with the iPhone 10 using the rear facing camera. So of course there's no screen on the back so I can't see what the hell I'm doing. I can see on the little screen on the Osmo Pocket that I'm in the frame and it's following me. The screen is really tiny on the Pocket but it gets the job done in terms of just like a quick glimpse into like, am I even in the frame? Is it on? Am I recording? So that's a win for the Osmo Pocket. Look at your face! Oh my god! He's like a healer, pommel, I mean not pommel, what is that thing? Oh, you gonna sit on my foot? What is it with you guys sitting on my foot, huh? Hey Rain! When I was shooting close up like this, I noticed that sometimes the Osmo Pocket actually wasn't able to focus very well. The iPhone 10 just has much better autofocus and it's kind of known for that. The autofocus on the pocket is decent, but there were so many shots where it just couldn't focus correctly and I had to wait for a few seconds for it to actually do its job. Walking test, walking test. The Pocket also definitely feels a lot lighter than iPhone 10. Has a look, has it look. I'd be looking at the camera more if there wasn't so much poop on the ground, but there's a lot of poop here. Now we got the direct sunlight over here. You want to say hi? You got stickers all in you. Hmm? Look at you, huh? Oh, you got stickers too. I'm covered oh, in oh, stickers. That was deep. Damn. What did you stick your head in? You, you're so cute. Oh, hey. Stickers. That's mochi. What do you have to say to YouTube? Eh? <laughs> the Osmo Pocket definitely has an advantage when it comes to stabilization because, of course, it is a gimbal. But overall, the iPhone 10 actually held up pretty well when it comes to the internal stabilization. Side by side, the Osmo Pocket footage definitely looks more stable when you're walking, but you can still see little hand movements and little micro jitters here and there. 
What was more dramatic in terms of the differences between these two cameras is the iPhone 10 camera definitely seems to pick up more contrast and color, where the Osmo Pocket seems to pick up less color and it's a little flatter in its overall color profile. So when it comes to visuals, I actually like the iPhone 10 better. I prefer the more saturated and more contrasty look, but these are all the default settings on both cameras and I'm hoping that the Osmo Pocket will add some kind of flat profiles, maybe even a log one as well. Apparently there's an actor that's camping out out of this thing for the summer and he was the elevator operator in Titanic. I can feel Leonardo DiCaprio's presence. When it comes to low light, the Osmo Pocket seems less noisy, but there's not as many details in the shadows as the iPhone X. The place I'm staying in in New Mexico looks like a haunted house. Kinda creepy. I hope I survive the night. I think I'll be alright. When it comes to photo quality, the Pocket does pretty well, but the iPhone X definitely looks better to me. I could see more details in the clouds and in the shadows, and I really like the colors on the iPhone X image. This may come down to personal preference, but I prefer the iPhone X's more contrast desaturated look, and the Pocket image to me looks a little too over sharpened. And in this photo, you can see how much better the iPhone X looks, where the clouds actually have detail, the colors look better in the reds, the skin tones look nicer. iPhone X just looks so much better than the Pocket. Overall, I really like both of these cameras for what they do. But when it comes down to video quality and audio quality and just overall function, I still prefer the iPhone X over the Osmo Pocket. Colors look better, contrast looks better, audio sounds better. It's just kind of an all-around better camera in my opinion. But the Osmo Pocket is super portable, it's only $350 and it actually fits in your pocket which is really cool. But it definitely needs some improvement in autofocus and audio and hopefully DJI will address those things in future firmware updates. The Pocket definitely feels kind of beta-y to me in its current state and I think it has a lot of room to improve so I think the second version of the Osmo Pocket is going to be insane. Let me know what you think of the Pocket footage versus the iPhone X. Do you prefer the Pocket or the iPhone X? Let me know in the comments. If there's anything else about the Pocket or the iPhone X that you'd like to see me compare or test, let me know also in the comments. Be sure to add me on Instagram and Twitter at B3NAQUA. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.